Dear students, good morning. In the last video, we have done electricity part one. I hope you have understood all the topics explained earlier video. Before starting the next topic, I would like you to request you to subscribe and like my channel. That is the learner's point. All of you subscribe and like all the videos of my channel so it will give me a a great motivation so that I can bring so many nice videos so many educational videos to you and you must help me to subscribe and like the videos so today we are going to start our chapter electricity we are going to continue the same chapter the electricity and the topics which we are going to discuss today that are Ohm's law and its limitation and graphical analysis we will do for that and circuit diagram for verification of the Ohm's law and precautions taken during the experimental analysis of the Ohm's law. So these are the topics today we are going to discuss. First of all, I am going to discuss Ohm's law. Ohm's law. According to Ohm's law, the current flowing through the conductor is directly proportional to the potential difference. So, may I repeat this? According to the Ohm's law, current flowing through the conductor is directly proportional to the potential difference across the conductor provided that temperature and other physical conditions of the conductor remains constant. That means temperature remains constant. So here current flowing through a conductor is directly proportional to the potential difference. The symbol used for potential difference is V. So we are having symbol for potential difference is V and in order to we will remove this constant proportionality so by replacing R. So R is resistance of the conductor of the conductor or you can say constant of proportionality proportionality so here we will write I R directly proportional or you can say V equal to I R so this is Ohm's law so so this is Ohm's law derivational we have described the derivation also so now we are going to proceed these limitations so what are the limitations so as we have earlier said that so it works only at the constant temperature that means Ohm's law hold good Ohm's law hold good at constant temperature so that means this is the limitation that means limitation of this is that is it hold good at a constant temperature now graphical analysis graphical analysis graph we are going to do the for which Ohm's law so in this current and volt that is potential difference is important so we will take current in the y axis and potential difference in the x axis so we will do that it will get a straight line which will pass from the origin that is O so graphical analysis is of uh, that graph is a straight line passing through the origin graph is straight line passing through origin so this is the graphical structure for the 
ohms law now circuit diagram so now we are going to do this circuit diagram for this in this area we need one battery rheostat key resistance voltmeter and ammeter so we have discussed that wo a voltmeter voltmeter connected in parallel combination an ammeter connected in series connected in series now electrical diagram is that so first of all that is battery we will join over here a battery negative and positive symbol for that and here we will connect rheostat symbol for rheostat is rh and here we will join it up with the ammeter as we have all said earlier that ammeter is joined or combined or connected in a series and one resistance we will have this is the resistance that is obstruction occurred in the circuit that that is resistance so here we are having p and q this is the resistance and voltmeter so that is applied in this a parallel parallel combination so here negative and positive is there so it will connected with a key and it is a key that is a key so this are uh, this is a circuit diagram for ohms law current is flowing through a in this direction so this is the circuit diagram for it now we are going to do precautions so there are precautions first precaution is that ohm according to ohms law we have said that current is flowing directly proportional to the potential difference so in this first precaution will be current should not allow current should not allow to pass through the conductor for long time so because these are the very sensitive devices attached to it so there should not be long flow of the current in the circuit so second of precaution we have to take the circuit diagram which we have made all the connections should be tight tight based there should be no linkage or breakage of the conductor connection should be tight connection should be tight very tight there should not be loose circuit circuit there should not be loose circuit the circuit should be very tight so in this way the ohms law will work here we have discussed ohms law experiment and experimental study for this ohms law we have discussed i hope you have understood all the topic which i have discussed today that is ohms law